so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real-life firefighter. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at it! It's a real-life firefighter pole. Ooh. <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa! I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Ooh, and they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Whoa. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <gasps> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, we get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down and now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Oh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay. We'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, I love pizza with lots of cheese. Okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. And they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. Woo. Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. 
to put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then, once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done. Yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> <gasps> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Ah, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have, mm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones to make sure they're not broken. And this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> He is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a fire truck. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, fire trucks are so cool. And look at this. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa. <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow. It is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, 
Boom! And look at this! This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder, and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. It's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, fun. This is the fire pole! Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah. This is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey. Do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Did you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Oh, look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different phones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, 
not really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange, because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red, and little bits of yellow, and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. <laughs> this fire truck and recycling truck. Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>
But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. I am so excited to go to bed. Ooh, campsite 22. <laughs> Ooh, and good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent. It looks so cozy. Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah. <laughs> look, Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right, I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right, whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> with the bedtime stories. <laughs> All right, <sighs> okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <gasps> others, <gasps> others small. <laughs> Some, someone squawk. <laughs> someone squawk. <laughs> Some, <gasps> some, some went. Whoa! Check it out, an animal! Wow! Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What I'm do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because mm. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, and does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right, <laughs> enjoy your snack. <laughs> Whoa, cool, another animal. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nolani. Oh, nice to meet you, nice I'm to meet Blippi. You. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. 
Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing though that Quilma's uh her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool, mm -hmm. so another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa, mm -hmm. and it looks like his nose is really long. It is, and so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, uh -huh. So that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? Instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Oh, and look at these animals. Hello, they look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They're actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So oh. it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws and then they find the bugs and they use their tongue and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues and wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa, yeah, so these animal's tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey. You're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things and they also use it for climbing. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches maybe. Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do, they spend a lot of their time up in the trees oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. 
Okay, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle, or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita, and you were right. This is our tortoise, oh. and he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh. Do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Tough. Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so can he, like, leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell. It's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, towards his shell. He'll push his neck in. Um, and it'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, Looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so, from there, they just keep growing and growing. So, Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Uh -huh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Sita might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think. And 50 years old! Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, Sita. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Check it out! Look at this bird! Oh, hello! <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America, and his name is Lightning. Wow! South America. Whoa! And he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome! Yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade, and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see him. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow, though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut and we can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Good job. You want to try it again after those yummy snacks? 
That was really good. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. Target. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old. And lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue. And then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Woo. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. This is such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow. And it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? It's gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line! And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and you'll feel like we're a bird! Ha ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly! Whoa! Whoa! All right! Oh, thank you so much! This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah, to ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right, am I ready? <laughs> really felt like I was a bird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting kind of tired. <sighs> wow. <sighs> that was great. <sighs> I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds. So cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow. Hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we oh, when we go to bed when we go to bed they they um when we go to bed Whoa <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Whoa Hey who are you? Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Oh, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, so exactly. we can see the animals? 
Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Oh, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah. And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow! Look at all the flamingos! Whoa! Whoa, now they're all running! Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun! Hey! What do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh yeah, that's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa, oh yeah. Whoa, look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow, <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow, that is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow, that is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, Flippy. Uh-huh. There's a giraffe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of tired. Oh, 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 <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. You know, so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why didn't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. 
A rumble in a tummy. A common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so open wide. <gasps> so open wide. Hope you're so open wide. I hope you're. I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. If you want to. Make this first bottle for the spring box. Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 in spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So. I'm gonna put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All right. Let's just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> that, that's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle we're gonna make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or two liter. Okay, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. <laughs> so excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> all right. There we go. All right, we have the water. We're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. It's a big amp. All right, there we go. And then, okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit, that's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All right. Really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. It smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. All right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> So excited! Whoa, check it out! Whoa! <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontibok. Oh, hey, This spring is a bok. Nile lechway. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monty way? A, a, a bontibok. Oh, a bontibok. <laughs> oh, cool. Ooh. They're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. It's yeah, we you. did such a great oh. job with those bottles. Oh. Whoa. Let hey. me get the right bottle here. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has yeah. horns on its head. Whoa. Is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female bontebuck has horns just like the males. But in the... Oh, wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, 
Hey! Now really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The okay. bontebok loves the trees too. Okay. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all have is in common is they're from Africa. Ooh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they like run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring a bit in the air, and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. <laughs> and they're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. But didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa! So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is going to drink from this big bottle. That's going to be our friend Arthur. Do you want to give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. He's going to come running. That's Good a silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? He <laughs> must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa, <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. <sighs> oh. Great morning this is! <laughs> wow, and what a great night that was. I slept so great! Yeah, now I'm very well rested. Whoa! And wasn't that fun at the roar and snore? Yeah, we learned so much about animals. <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, big animals, small animals. Yeah, I love big and small animals. They're so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah, while I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again! Wow, that sounds like an animal, for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm, sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again! Whoa! Okay, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah! We're hearing a lion! <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! There it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, 
this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>me Blippi and today I'm at Chocolat in Leavenworth, Washington. And today, since you and I ate our vegetables, we're gonna make some chocolate and caramel. I am so excited. Let's go! Hey, who are you? Hey Blippi, my name's Andrew. Whoa. Welcome to Chocolat. Nice to meet you. What do you have here? Uh, we have all sorts of truffles and bonbons, all handmade right here on site. Wow, they look so tasty. Look at that. Oh. I just want to eat them all up. Whoa! What do you say, Blippi? Do you want to make some chocolates today? Yeah! Let's go! Wow! All of these candies look so yummy! Hey, and did you notice how all of these have different shapes? Yeah, let's check them out. Whoa, do you see this one? What shape is that? Yeah, look at it closer. Yeah! That is a square. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool how all of these have different fillings on the inside. Ooh, look at this swirl. Wow. Yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Perfect. Good job. Ooh. Wow. A sign of love. <laughs> oh, so cute. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a heart. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and these are really cool looking. Wow. Yeah, it's not a normal shape. This is a unique shape. Yeah, and this thing, yeah, this thing is unique to every single one. Yeah, this is a leaf. Yeah, every leaf has different veins and different structures and every single one looks a little bit different from each other. Whoa, look at these. These even have little pieces of gold on them. Wow, <laughs> yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's another leaf. <laughs> it's from a different type of tree, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all look so yummy, but I can't eat them yet. We have some more learning to do. Yeah. Check it out, here is the kitchen. Yeah, I am so excited to make some chocolate. Okay, first thing I need to do is put on an apron. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is worn. Make sure that your clothes do not get dirty and sticky. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah, I look ready. <laughs> Whoa, not ready yet because we need to wash our hands. All right. Very important to wash your hands if you're going to work with food and make candy. Yeah, perfect. You have to scrub them, get underneath the nails. Okay, now we get to rinse it off. All that soap. Oh, yeah. You're nice and clean. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Who are you? Hi, I'm Carissa. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you doing right here? Well, today we'll be we're making some caramels. Ooh, caramel? I love caramel. Have you ever had caramel before? Yeah, it's so yummy. Will you show us? Sure thing. Let's go ahead and make some.
Wow. This caramel looks so yummy. <laughs> so the caramel cooled in the caramel frame, and then we cut a square or rectangle out of it, and now we're left with this. So what I'm going to do is put on some blue gloves. There's one. <laughs> and then here's two. Two blue gloves. And then we're going to use this guitar cutter. <laughs> yeah, to mark the caramel. So we're gonna line it up just like this. Push down slightly. There we go. And what I'm trying to do here is mark these lines. Yeah, just like that. So then I know where to cut later, okay? So how does that look? That looks pretty good. All right, let's turn the caramel. And then let's do a cross cut. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Look. Whoa, do you see all the miniature squares in it? That is a lot of caramel. And now, one of my favorite parts. We get to put chocolate on them. <laughs> Whoa, I love chocolate and I love caramel. So what we're gonna do is take these caramel pieces and dip them in chocolate and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. Yum! <laughs> okay, let's set that down right there. Let's take the fork. Let's grab this piece first. You need to dip the fork in the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little chocolate right there. Put the caramel, dip it in, and then you start tapping. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. All right, a little bit more. Okay, you don't want too much chocolate on that or else it'll be a goofy mess. So, put it down like that. Oh, not the best, but not too bad for my first one. And then let's sprinkle some salt right on top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. That was fun. I am so excited to try these later. How do those look? I think they look yummy! on top, put it on the inside, and then when it cools, we get to eat them. <laughs> okay, first let's uh, make a healthy one, okay? So how about let's take some of these almonds. Okay, and then we have some cherries right here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's like decorating, but decorating with food. And then, how about some pistachios? Yeah, pistachios is another type of nut. Yeah, that one looks like a yummy and pretty healthy chocolate bar <laughs> with nuts and fruit. <laughs> All right, okay, how about another one? This one, let's, uh, yeah, I think we should have some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now we can 
use some peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on top. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> All right, and then let's use a little bit of pretzels. Wow, this is so much fun. All right, there we go. And one more, perfect. And then let's do a couple banana chips. Have you ever had a banana before? Yeah, banana is a type of fruit. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. And banana chips are really yummy too. All right, that one looks good. So let's do the last one. And let's have some fun and put some colorful sprinkles on it. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna need to put it in the fridge to cool down. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was so much fun decorating those chocolate bars with you. <laughs> well, now we need to wait some time to let the chocolate cool. Hmm. What do we do? Okay, I think that's enough time, so let's go get the chocolate bars. Whoa, look at them. Wow. Okay, now let me knock them out. All right, so here we go. Whoa, look at them. They're perfect. All right, here is the first one. Wow, it looks so yummy. And here is the second one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh no! I broke it! <laughs> That's okay. It's still gonna taste just as good. I am so excited to eat these. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Check it out. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa, check out this room. Looks like they have a lot of boxes in here with some ribbons, ooh, a bunch of stickers. Wow. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Hey, who are you two? I'm Tilly. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you two. What are you two doing? We're boxing up some chocolates. Oh, can I see? Sure. <laughs> Did you see how they put the rest of the chocolates in the base? And now they're putting the tops on. Check it out. And do you see what they're doing now? Yeah, now that the boxes are fully enclosed, now they're tying ribbons all around it to make it look pretty. <laughs> they did such a great job boxing up this box of chocolates. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so yummy. But hey, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, now it's time to eat some chocolates. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa, and look at it. It's a giant castle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, we are at medieval times. That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did 
do you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars. Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today, you and I get to go in the Orlando Castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah, a stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? Yeah, that's right. They neigh. You neigh. You neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Neigh. 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at it. This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah, <laughs> this is a body brush. So it's for the body of the horse. Whoa, and look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can whew, be kind of heavy and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo. <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight so they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look. This is a really beautiful horse. Hello. His name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> First, let's brush Humo's fur. His hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
we did it! We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament! And look, now he's the color green and brown! <laughs> yeah! Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up, but now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves! <laughs> okay, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse, and he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're gonna give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello! Good job, Humo! Woo! <laughs> that tickles! Woo! <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on! Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa, that was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knight's Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knight's gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knight's Lance. Whoa, and this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie, hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Hey. Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? <laughs> okay, I'm ready to Knight's Challenge! <laughs> Whoa! Uh oh! I only got one ring! That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time! Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey! <laughs> that was so much fun. And now, it's time to move on to the second Knight's Challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah. We completed the first Knight's Challenge. We're really close to becoming a Knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second Knight's Challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah. It's called the Flag Toss. It's when me and another Knight We'll toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay, ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
<laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye bye I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go! Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the night's challenges. And now I get to be Night Blippy. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Blippy. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges? but we already completed three. I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the Knight's Code. Whoa, do you know what the Knight's Code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the Knight's Code? A Knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm. That means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy. We can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's going to be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah. OK, here we go. Ooh. I think I'm all ready to go. Come on. Wow, I can't believe we get to meet the queen and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi! And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. <laughs> and you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not gonna learn about tunes. We're gonna learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa! Look! <laughs> so much fun to play with, whoa. And you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, all right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa, and today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then 
you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa! This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> first, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa, okay. Let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay. All right. Let's see. One quarter cup of salt. All right. It is definitely already getting really messy. Okay. One quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Perfect. All right. Okay. Let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name. <laughs> That's so fun. Cream of tartar. One teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, oh, let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news berry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. You know what H2O stands for? Yeah. <sighs> water. <laughs> I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. And you can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do Although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa, all right, let me keep mixing it up. Wow, check it out. Wow, whoa, homemade clay. Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then, now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters. But these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Whoa! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> Cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof! 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 <laughs> wow! <laughs> Dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that. Whoa, pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. Woof, 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 woof. Okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect. All right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh. A B, a P, an I and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah. And if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. B L I. Yeah. B L I. What's the next letter? Yeah. P. And 
there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B L I P. We need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B L I P P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now let's make one more thing. Huh? Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters. Yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft, so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces, so look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon, and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands Roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah, and it was really fun. Yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. A doggy, woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B, oh, L, I, P, P, I, Blippi. All right, thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon, bye-bye. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. And this is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. No, Mika, you're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're at Discovery Cube in Los Angeles, California. That's right, and there's so many fun things to explore inside. Yeah, do you want to explore with us? Chairs. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> They're so little. Yeah, and it's the color blue. One of my two favorite colors. Yeah. Hey, what color is mine? Whoa, oh. check it out. Green. Wow, cool. Whoa, 
Oh, I feel really short. Me too. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Wow. I have a bunny I could draw and color in. Ooh, what do you have? I think I'm gonna color this cow. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe I could do a monkey? <laughs> oh yeah, you should do the monkey. That's so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and uh, let's see. Let's, uh, whoa, whoa, look at him. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what a cool guy. <laughs> He's okay. really happy to be a construction worker. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just do the monkey. Okay, You're gonna I'll do, do the, the cow? cow? Yep. All right, mm. <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna make mine a multicolored monkey. I'm gonna make mine a green cow. Okay, all right, I'm gonna draw the, colored the nose green. Ooh. Ooh, and then maybe his mouth blue. Whoa! Wow, he's so cool looking, Blippi. Yeah! Woo! Let's see. Whoa, a green cow! Yeah! You're so creative. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so cool! Look at this! <laughs> Whoa, purple ears! Wow! Almost done! <laughs> and I'll just make him all brown. Yeah. What funny looking animals. I know. What's your favorite animal? Wow. So cool. Wow. Can you imagine if you saw a green cow outside of your car window? <laughs> That's so silly. What would you do? <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, look, a green cow. <laughs> I wonder if you make green milk. <laughs> whoa, green milk. I didn't think about that. I know. All right. Do you like my monkey? Do you like Mikael? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good job, Mika. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa! Wow. A submarine! Yeah, submarines are vessels that go under the water. Yeah. Whoa, looks like we can go inside. Whoa! Whoa, hello! <laughs> Hi! Whoa. Maybe we can peek out the windows and see some ocean creatures. Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, I see a dolphin. You do? Yeah. Oh, look, an octopus. Hello. Whoa. Octopuses change colors. Wow. Whoa. Oh, look at that. A sea what? star. Oh, it's so pretty. Whoa. It's so cool. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love the ocean. Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Check this area out. Office. That's right. See all the animals waiting for checkups? Whoa, looks like a doggy. Aww. Ooh, another doggy. Aww. Look at the cat winking. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. <So> cute. <laughs> Woo, and look right here. A parrot. Ready for the show? Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. Where is my next patient? Hmm. Hey, help me, help me. Oh, my no. gerbil needs help. Oh, no, your gerbil. What's wrong? I don't know. He was like, I'm hungry. He, I am hungry. He did just say he's hungry. I well, know. you're in luck because I have some gerbil treats. Yeah. You have to remember to take care of your pets by feeding them. Oh, Frankie. You're not Aww. hungry anymore. I love you so much. No, Frankie, you did a good job at the doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> wow, good Whoa, job, Mika. That, that was amazing. Awesome. Wow. Whoa. A supermarket. Yeah, 
let's see what they sell. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look, the checkout stand. Oh, uh, yeah, where you can check out your own groceries. Yeah, but first, we need to buy some groceries. <laughs> let's see what they have. Oh, yum. Ooh. Do you know what this is? Yeah. A pineapple. Oh, yummy. They're so sweet. <laughs> yep. Oh, more healthy food. Yeah. Some loose broccoli. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love having cheese on top of broccoli. Whoa, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, you should try it. <laughs> and some tomatoes. Ooh, yum. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> mm. Oh, look, some apples. Apple. Yeah, these are red apples. Ooh, and look right here, some green apples. Yummy, I like green apples most. Really? Mm -hmm. I like red apples. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, some orange carrots. Oh, orange? That's one of my two favorite colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I like carrots. Yeah, they're so crunchy and yummy. And yeah, they're good for your eyes, too. Oh, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of these sweet treats. Yum. <laughs> wow. Look at that chocolate cake. It does look really yummy. I only have dessert after I eat a lot of healthy food, though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> this grocery store is so cool. Yeah. Has tons of food. Ooh. And look. Condiments. Yeah. yeah. Some ketchup. Mm -hmm. Some mustard. Yum. Yep. <laughs> and here's some bread to make sandwiches. Yum. Whoa! Welcome to the seafood section. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like there's some fish in here. Whoa. Trout. Ooh, some Alaska salmon. Wow! Pretty this cool. is a very nice grocery store. Yeah. Oh, yum! <gasps> orange juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy, and it's orange. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Cheese. I love cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. Ooh, me too. Ooh, yeah. That's really yummy. Ooh. Some milk. Ooh, and some soy milk. Have you ever tried soy milk before? It's <laughs> yummy. There's all different kinds of milk. Yep. Soy milk. Ooh, cow's milk. Ooh, and there even like goat's milk. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't see any here though. Nope. <laughs> they must be cool. out. Yep. Oh, the electronics section. Wow, cool! DVDs! Wow! <laughs> I haven't seen these in a grocery store in a long time! I know, DVDs and CDs? Yeah. That is cool! <laughs> <laughs> and things for your yard! Oh, yeah, some hoses! So then we can water our plants! Yep, and a watering can! Wow, cool! Alright, let's keep exploring! Here we go! garbage truck. Yeah, look at it. And here's a bunch of trash on this conveyor belt. Yeah, and it looks like there's also compost here too. Right, and things that you can recycle. Yeah, shall we sort? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, do you see this? Yeah, it looks like a bunch of flowers. Yeah. That's compostable. Good job. Yeah, when you put that in with a bunch of other natural things like food or leaves or branches, then from there, then eventually it turns into soil. <laughs> Ooh. And look, an empty plastic bottle. You can definitely recycle this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here's another one. Wow, some more leaves. Actually, these are flowers. Whoa, there we go. Ooh, and some leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> here's an empty bottle of milk. Can you recycle this? Yeah! Ooh, bag of old potato chips or an empty bag of chips? You can't recycle that. Put that back for the trash. And we have some bark. <laughs> Tree bark. Woohoo! this is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! This? Check this out. What does it look like to you? Kind of looks like a beaker. Yeah, a really big beaker. Yeah, that scientists used to put things in. That's right. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, well, maybe we should have a beaker dance party. Yes, great idea, Blippi. Yeah! Woohoo! Wow! 
Wow. Woo, check this out over here. What's that? I don't know. It kind of looks like a funnel. Whoa. Oh. And look. You must drop these little white balls right here. And let's see what happens. Whoa. 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 Shall we throw multiple balls at once oh, and then yeah. you can take a closer look? That'd be fun. All right. Where are they? Okay, I have two. I have one. All right. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Okay, ready? How many balls are we gonna do? One, two, three, four. All right, let's go. Ready? Three, two, two one, go. go. Oh, whoa, cool. so much together. Mm -hmm. I always have so much fun learning with you, Blippi. I love learning with you, Mika. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. <laughs> Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Cool. <laughs> See you again! Bye bye! Bye! See you next time! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at what I'm doing! Yeah! I'm on a hike! Whoa! I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah! And I think I made it to the top of a mountain! Whoa! This mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks? So cool! Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. <sighs> wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains! Hello, mountains! Whoa, did you hear it echo? That's <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Look, do you see that? That looks like a big dome. Yeah, that must be where a telescope is. Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> This dome is massive! Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a telescope is? Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know, it's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa, do you know how a telescope works? Yeah, basically, there's an opening up top 
way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah! <laughs> Check it out! Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with the telescope. Whoa! Yeah! Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Woo! And what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, and it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons. Wow, <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy. That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy. Whoa! Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula! Yeah! That is where all the stars are born in our galaxy. Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome! And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves! <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves! Yeah, let's go! So many stairs! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh! Who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. What do Good you do here? You. I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator? Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down? That's right. Wow! Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If mm -hmm. I want to look at this star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow, that's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of, say, a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. Wow, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly. It's oh. called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, East, South, West? That's right. Whoa, cool! And Tom, do you mind if we, like, operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure. Let's open up the dome first. Cool! Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go! Really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Hmm. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later! So long. Bye-bye! Bye! Whoa, check it out! We're at the Astronomical! 
Animal Museum. Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? <laughs> Whoa! Look at these! Whoa, they look like wheels. Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> But actually, these are wheels that are on the dome. So then the dome can spin around. So cool. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, you can see stars with this, planets. Whoa, other galaxies maybe. Oh, cool. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, look! This is a really big piece of glass. Wow, yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror and light bounces back and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors, then it goes into the eyepiece. And this piece of glass used to have silver on it. So then it was really shiny like a mirror. <laughs> oh, speaking of mirrors, look! There's a mirror right over there. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Yeah. This mirror came from a real telescope. A very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa. Check it out. Another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important. It's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job. All right, let's go. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Check this out. Whoa. Look at all of these charts. Whoa, and graphs. <laughs> Ooh, and some pictures of the sun. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa. Cool. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> it is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150 foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters. Whoa. All right. You never want to look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're going to be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope. Not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? Yeah. This is a live image of our sun. Yeah. This light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool. Whoa, I love solar telescopes. Yeah. Whoa, I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back making our own way cause we ain't got no track and so we need to use a seatbelt there's no gravity we are searching for something planetary heading home for earth we do it gradually gotta get back home to humanity blast off thousands of miles an hour Get far 
far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune! Whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, it's so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're going to let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect! So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah! It's because their velocity 
Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Let's go. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good job, water bottle. Wow, that was so much fun learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. That horn was really loud! <laughs> Let's see what else there is! Oh, whoa! Look at this! It's a rescue boat! This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's so much fun! And it's squishy! Whoa! The waves are going! so fast, and they're so huge! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the water is nice and cool, yeah, because it's made out of a ball pit! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> this is so amazing! I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this! It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square, hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! Whoa! Whoa, and look at this! This is really cool. It's a submarine. <laughs> yeah! And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater. And it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two, green boats, and we have one, two, purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats. <laughs> These are so cool. And if you have an orange boat and a blue boat, you have blippy boats. Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. <laughs> bye bye octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle and it's so cute. <laughs> 
Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. Look at it. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa! And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm, so let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. Hmm. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And hmm, we're almost done, but I think we should make two. Hmm, let's use an orange and We'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle. King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, and when you take a gear and you put one gear Next, to another gear. When you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now, the really fun part. When you take one gear, connect it to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> this is so much fun. This place is amazing. And look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> 
Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. Oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh, yeah, I am juggling, all right. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Flippy. But you know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? Yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> got just the thing. Come over here. We'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. You're going to want to step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right. Here we go. Look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa, this place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> And we have some green, Ooh. and it's got some confetti in it. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, oh, this paint is gold, and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I have a brush and some paint. And now we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's so happy! Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint! Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun! Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, 
I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. Mm -mm. <laughs> this was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey! That was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out! Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. Okay, here we go, come on. Wow, whoa, look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow. There's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue. Looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow. Look at all these glass rods. Whoa. So cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what they have here. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. This is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Oh, and it looks like some glass made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, here we go. 
Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. I kind of like bowls. Whoa, it's so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. <laughs> it's nice and warm, though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa! Yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. You know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> Look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa, is this true? Is this true? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, all right. Whoa. And down here, whoa, looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa. Check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not going to touch. Wow. And there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look. Yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, and this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used, and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> so cool! Whoa! What are they doing? Whoa! Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig. I'm Jory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What are you doing? We are blowing glass. We're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa! They're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome! <laughs>
Do you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this part. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that part. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> You see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It is very hot! Okay. Now roll it. Whoa! 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 Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to, it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold, but when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey, because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? 
Wow. Get a little bit more of a crease. Try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Yep. Great. Whoa. Wow, that was so much fun. Now they're gonna do the finishing touches and then they're gonna pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're heating that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. It looks like that. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made. Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey, <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now, <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>